something that can just bring the whole mini split system to its knees, it's going to end up not functioning, and that is if you have a bad thermistor. So there's at least five thermistors on any type of mini split system, and the whole object is that the unit is going to send electrical current through each one of these thermistors in order to measure temperature at the various locations. So the little bead thermistor might be used to measure air temperature uh, at the inlet of the outdoor coil or at the inlet of the indoor coil. And the tube thermistors are typically used to measure the tube temperature of the, the outdoor coil, the indoor coil, and also right here on the discharge of the compressor. So these will change in electrical resistance as the temperature changes. And so you can check the calibration of this with the power off uh, by measuring electrical resistance. And so you're going to compare that to the actual temperature that it is surrounding the thermistor when you're measuring it. And so there should be a troubleshooting chart supplied by the manufacturer in order to check the calibration. Uh, but if you ever measure OL, then that means that your thermistor is bad. And that's opened up, say, the wire is either cut or the thermistor inside is bad and open. And that would basically stop the mini split from operating. And it's a very inexpensive, small part. You just got to make sure to replace it with the correct size thermistor. So for instance, these come in 5K, 10K, 15K, 20K, and 50K. And what that means is if you measure the electrical resistance at say 77 degrees and you measure 10,000 ohms or 10K ohm, then that will be a 10K ohm thermistor. And so there's different types, the bead type and the tube type. And so you're just going to want to uh, be able to troubleshoot these with the power off of the system. And uh, that could be the issue right there. Now, the other thing is the indoor unit could throw an error code letting you know that this is the problem. So that's, that is kind of nice as well. So some diagnostic functions of a mini split might be able to tell you what the problem is.